Hey guys, welcome back again. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone. In this video, we'll be going to discuss about the most important part. What should be the search volume of any keyword which you will be targeting in your keyword? First thing. And the second one is which paid or free SEO tool you need to believe in order to find out an exact search volume of a keyword. If you're searching for these two queries, then stay till the end because in this video, I will be covering step by step each and everything in order to understand or get clarity on this particular topic. My name is Kirti Shwas. I am from bloggingwords.com. If you are willing to make passive income just sitting in your home doing a blogging, affiliate marketing and various ways, then make sure you click to the subscribe button, hit to the bell icon. Don't forget to like and also provide your opinion in the comment box. Without wasting time, let's go to this. Let, let's discuss about these two things step by step so you can understand. So let's start it. First of all, guys, let's talk about what should be the search volume of a particular keyword. But here, the most important part is where exactly this search volume is coming from. Obviously, whenever you will be targeting in the beginning, ignore the search volume, whatever all the tools are showing. What you have to understand is, guys, just always and always target a long tail keyword. What is long tail keyword? A keyword or it should be a general query which actually targeting a user query. So keyword could be a SEO, but a long tail could be a long tail keyword could be what is SEO types. So there is a combination of four words and definitely it specifically answering the types of SEO. But the first one SEO, nobody is clear what exactly user is looking for. So one is SEO, second one is what is SEO type. So always try to target the keyword which are long tail combination of four or more than four plus words. So this should be your target in the beginning. Now, if you will ask me what should be the search volume of a keyword, then guys, there is a no predefined matrix, but anywhere, whatever tool you are using, make sure the search volume of those keywords should be at least 100 to 250, whatever the tools are showing you, especially the free keyword research tool. If they are showing 100 to 250, in the beginning, you should target it because you don't know, even they don't know whether this search volume is accurate or not. I will tell you the example why this is so. But yes, you should not leave that particular keyword in uh, just by comparing, uh, just by comparing it with the search volume displayed different places. So I hope now you're clear what should be the search volume. Yes, guys, this is very much important because whenever you will go behind a keyword, which is which is showing around 1K, 10K search volume over the month, that will create a problem. But here the search volume could be of two type. One is a global search volume. Let's take an example. SEO is a keyword which is being searched uh, across the world, right? So obviously it's global search volume will be very high, but there is a certain thing. Let's take an example of Indian law. Who is searching for Indian law? The person who is actually living in India, 90%, they are the people. So in that case, that is having a massive country specific search volume instead of global search volume. So in this way, you have to find out your keyword based on your targeted audience. And in the beginning, always try to have a keyword search volume should be at max 250 because there will be less competition and you can easily rank it. Remember it. I will make a detailed video how to find out search keyword. If you wanted to, uh, if you are willing me to make such kind of videos, then make sure you comment me. Now let's talk about which tool to believe in. There are different tools, right? In this list, guys, let me compare about those four tools. So one, you are aware about the Google AdWord. The second one, you are aware about the Uber Suggest, and there are two paid SEO tool, Href and SEMrush. Okay, guys, use of a Google AdWord and Uber Suggest is free. You can use it. Uber Suggest has certain limitations, but still you have a certain free limit to use every day. But here, Href and SEMrush, these are the paid keyword research tool. However, the Ahrefs does not offer you any free trial. Ultimately, you have to pay around seven dollar to try it seven day free trial. But in that case, guys, you can go with the SEMrush that will offer you 14 days free trial without paying single dollar. So in that case, guys, in order to claim this 14 days free trial, I have given a link in the description that will give you a special offer. Now, let's talk about the Google AdWords. If you are searching for a particular keyword such as what is SEO and how to do SEO in both the cases, the Google AdWord will be showing a combined search result. Why? Because that is not for you to keyword research. It is actually for the advertiser. And if an advertiser who is selling SEO services, he wanted to display his ad for both the keyword, right? He doesn't want it to differentiate between both of that. What he want is if somebody is searching for that, just show our product. And that's why the Google AdWord is designed accordingly. So that will not give you an exact search volume in case you are really willing to write a blog post, which is targeted around a particular audience. So ignore the Google AdWord. Now let's go to the Uber suggest. Uber suggests a certain matrix. Basically, it's retrieving all this data from the various sources. 
you can rely on that but now it also become little bit little bit paid and you cannot rely on it for a longer duration but in the beginning you can definitely try over there if any particular keyword search volume which is visible over there as in 250 300 or 400 that will be 60 to 70 percent little bit accurate but still nobody has a good idea now let's talk about the people who are investing hundred dollar per month on this paid seo tool href and samrush so what is this and how exactly they are bringing this search volume remember guys other than Google, no other tool or no other services very well know. Other than Google, nobody knows what exactly the search volume of that Google. So everybody, whoever is bringing this tool, these are actually they, all these paid tools who are showing you this kind of search data. They are actually purchasing it from various sources. If you're not sure, like guys, there is a tool with the name of, uh, I think, uh, click, uh, click matrix, some sort of that. So that particular company is actually installing that particular uh, uh, extension into various browsers and actually checking what exactly users are doing that. So this, all the companies, HREP and Samras are actually purchasing data from there. And then after they are mapping this data with the Google AdWords and lot many different processing happen with that data. And then after they show this kind of search volume, like this could be having this much search volume and this could be having this much search volume. So is this data accurate? The answer is no. There is a no guarantee guys, whatever they are showing is accurate. So the only way to which through which you can identify whether the search volume is valid or not, you just go and type in the Google and try to understand what exactly the blog posts are written about. And just think from your mind perspective whether this could have a certain potential or not. Let's take an example. If you're searching some random queries which nobody's searching, nobody's looking for, then why you should write about it, right? Just take an example. Uh, if this particular cell phone, if I'm talking about a particular lens of the cell phone, obviously there will be very low audience for that. But when I talk about specifically the brand of the cell phone, then obviously there will be a brighter or a broader audience. So in this way, you have to analyze yourself, but parallel you can take the help of this tool to give some backup or confidence to your, pro your research that yes, that could be some potential and in this way guys you have to find out whether there is a potential whether there is a certain search volume for this keyword or not i hope guys this video has been helpful for you there i try to explain minimum search criteria obviously just take 200 whatever the free tools you are sure uh, whatever the free tools showing you and also take the help of this paid keyword research tool you can try the same rush the link in the given uh, link given in the description if this video has been helpful for you don't forget to like this video and also provide your opinion in the comment box thank you very much for being a part of our uh, this channel and have a good day.